Hey, Nate, the place looks great. You would never know how much bad news passes through here. Oh, well, nice to see you, too. Did you make your resolution about not lying to your friends? I thought I did that this afternoon. Yeah, well, our lifestyle editor says people are more likely to stick to things they put down in writing. So, since you already know yours, just twist it onto the tree when you're done. Now, do you see? There's no way out of it. If anything ever happened to Chuck, I would feel like it was my fault. I made a vow to Mary Louise, and that's what I'm gonna do. You can't base the rest of your life on one desperate moment. God doesn't punish people for being in love. He wouldn't want you to marry someone you don't want to be with. Louis's been wonderful. I don't not love him. Well, then you need to come clean. He and Chuck think you're having an affair with Dan. What? They have photos of the two of you at a townhouse. And they're going to out them unless you tell them the truth. Never. If it means keeping Chuck safe, then I'll endure the public humiliation of allegedly stooping Humphrey. I'll lose everything before I lose Chuck all over again. So much for your resolution. Thought you said you were done going behind people's backs. My assistant stopped it before it went to the monitors. I'm sorry, Nate. I couldn't think of another way to get them to tell the truth. Which is what? No, not the year's most secret affair. Look, I, I wish I could tell you, but I, I can't. Maybe we should run the year and review presentation, have a public way in. Oh, come on, that is the last thing that Blair needs right now. I swear to you, we are not having an affair. Well, what the hell are you doing? He's having a relationship with me. I owe you an apology. I know I promised to trust you, but I had a small lapse. Oh, well, none of us is perfect. We don't even need to speak of it. I do. I thought you were having an affair with Dan. I'm just glad Serena told me the truth before I did something I'd regret. Serena told you what truth? That you've been protecting your new relationship with Dan, just like you did for us, when we weren't ready for my family to know we were dating. Of course. Although, they had much more to be ashamed of than we did. We should let the ladies get back to Blair, business. please. After the accident, you told me you'd never leave me. Now you feel further away than ever. It's true, I've been keeping a secret. Converting to Catholicism. I knew how important it was for you to be married in a church. That's wonderful. Let's go celebrate the first year of the rest of our lives together. on a damn deja vu. Well, it's a sacrifice that I can handle. It's yours that I'm worried about, though. There you are. Serena, you better find Dan. It's bad luck not to kiss you love at the stroke of midnight. Ten, nine, eight. I guess this is our cue. Sorry, I couldn't think of a better way to save Blair. because I changed my mind. Louis is downstairs waiting for me. What the hell is going on? 
I just came to, to tell you what a wonderful person you've become. I hope you won't let this change that. Well, don't leave me. I'm not doing it to hurt you. You sat in the car and you said you'd never go. We were going to spend the rest of our lives together. Now you can't even look at me. Now you don't even care enough to tell me why? I saw what was important, and I made the only choice I could. If it's not an affair with Humphrey, something else changed you. What was it? Because love does not just disappear. We can never be together. Please, Chuck, just move on and be happy. I can't. Until I know why, I won't stop. I will use all of the power I have to find out the truth. Some things are more powerful than even you. I'm sorry. Don't let this destroy all the good in you. Just because we can't be together doesn't mean I won't love you.